Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. On the sidelines of the visit of the Supreme Council of Women delegation to Paris, the Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Women, Hala Al Ansari, held a working meeting with the first Vice President of the French House of Representatives, Hugo Renson, during which a number of issues of common concern were discussed, namely issues related to the relevant women and family legislation. Al Ansari thanked the French Parliament for its interest in hosting a high-level round table to identify the nature of the developments made by Bahrain to develop legislation that preserves the rights of women and respects their needs and to ensure integration of the efforts in the development process. She expressed the keen desire of Bahrain to benefit from the efforts of the French legislator in the same field. The two sides also stressed the need to activate channels of communication between the two countries for further consultation and cooperation in the interests of the two countries. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women presented to the Deputy Speaker of the French Parliament a brief explanation on the role played by the legislature in Bahrain, which contributed to transforming the national model to integrate the needs of women in development into a system of governance to monitor institutional performance, guaranteeing equal opportunities and achieving the required balance between the participation of women and men in public life. For his part, Mr Renson expressed France's appreciation for Bahrain's advanced experience in the field of preserving and promoting the rights of Bahraini women. He also welcomed the French Parliament to work with Bahrain to exchange expertise in this field stressing the appreciation of the relations between the two countries and the close points of views in many areas in support of development, stability and peace at the global level. World-renowned children's rights and education activist Dr Kailas Satyarthi visited Bahrain to learn about the Kingdom's sustainable development efforts and progress. More in this report with Shog Mohammed. 2014 Nobel Peace Prize laureate and children's rights activist Dr. Kailash Satyarthi visited the Kingdom of Bahrain for the first time to learn about the Kingdom's sustainable development efforts and its growth in all fields. During his short but eventful visit, Dr. Satyarthi met with significant figures and visited significant places in the Kingdom. He was received by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa at Qaybiyya Palace where he expressed his appreciation by giving His Royal Highness a certificate written by him. In the certificate, Dr. Satyarthi lauded His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's efforts in achieving political, economic and social development in the Kingdom, as well as his constant interest in consolidating the values of peace, coexistence and love among members of the Bahraini society. Meeting with the Prime Minister, he is a great guy, he is a visionary, he is a true uh, leader, uh, with a lot of moral authority and a lot of compassion and respect for humanity. Satyarthi, accompanied by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Mohammed Al-Mtawa, and Sheikh Hassan bin Isa Al-Khalifa, also toured a number of historical heritage areas, cultural landmarks, and vital developmental projects in the kingdom. This included Bahrain Fort, the Tree of Life, Khalifa City, and Gravity Indoor Skydiving. He gave a lecture at the Bahrain National Theatre about children's rights and commended the Kingdom of Bahrain for their tremendous efforts to ensure the development and education of all children in the Kingdom. Bahrain has been able to achieve a lot in terms of education and more importantly the issue of uh, girls' education. Um, it's amazing to see that in a short span of time the Kingdom has been able to uh, make education free and compulsory, uh, not only for boys, but also for girls. And that is now visible. The result is visible. Everywhere one can see uh, the women are working and they feel safe while working. They are uh, engaged in the, in the nation building activities. So that is possible because of uh, education. He also met with the Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil Hamidan, and toured the Child Protection Centre and the Batelco Child Welfare Home. Satyarthi praised the centres and described them as exemplary in providing protection and care for the children. He asserted that Bahrain deserves every respect and is a model to emulate internationally in regards to the protection of children. I am very impressed by the way the government and society uh, here is taking care of their children. 
I have been to this one-stop center where the complaints of uh, abused children are recorded and reported and then analyzed properly. Um, how the social workers, psychologists, doctors, police uh, work hand in hand. So it, it's very professional as well as uh, the people were very passionate, very involved. Satyarthi ended his visit by touring the historical and heritage areas in Mharag, as well as the 200-year-old Hindu temple in Manama, where he met with the people of his faith and learned more about the religious freedom and peaceful coexistence present in the Kingdom of Bahrain. If I am I'm given uh, an opportunity after freeing all child laborers from the world, I would love to spend more time, I would love to stay here, I feel like home here. The people are so nice, so, so warm, so passionate, so lovable. I'm very impressed. I met people from India, from Pakistan, from other places, and uh, they feel so safe and uh, respected and welcomed in Bahrain. That is very important. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogun Mohammed. Thank you.